in this tutorial series i'm going to make a pause system using next.js so at first uh, i i am uh, i have opened my folder in vs code then i need to uh, make a project setup of next.js so i'm going to uh, i'm going to the side of next.js and go to the docs and uh, in the getting started in the getting started section section i copy this copy this comment then paste it in our project folder then press enter it will make a project boilerplate for our post system press y then name your project i'm going to give a name pause my project is my project dependencies are installing now now our project had set up so we need to go this pause directory run cd pause then host our server run npm run dev now our project on the host local host on the uh, port of 3000 So this is the boilerplate code of uh, uh, Next.js. Now we need to customize this. Go to the pages folder and go to the index.js. I will cut off all of the code of here set up the title pause now nothing is showing here so at first we need to make a sidebar like that like that we need to make a sidebar i'm going to make the sidebar to using the si tag of html this si tag is very helpful to make a sidebar like this So I'm going to make a folder in our project you uh, you can see a error so I'm going to fix this error go to the go to the dot s linked rc dot json file then cut this and type bevel then save it now no error is showing here so at first i am going to make a folder called components 
in this component folder i am going to make a parent file because because uh, this sidebar will be shown all of uh, all of our page of our post system so the this is uh, this will be a parent file and all of our pages are children file so now i am going to make our parent file make a file in inside the component folder parent dot js now i'm going to customize our parent folder import the parent folder here so after yeah before importing i am going to make a uh, something inside Inside our asset tag, all of the routing system will be contained. So this will be uh, anchor tag. I am just writing uh, the demo. now i am importing the parent file here we need to pass all of the uh, all of the component uh, beside the sidebar so all of the children component will be shown beside the sidebar so i am going to pass the children all of the children here inside the parent tag all of the component will be shown like yes, yeah. i i have not designed yet this is our parent component and this is the child component so i am going to design the sidebar i have already or wrote the styles i am copying from this in the styles folder you can find a global.css file all of our styles will be written here now we can see uh, our sidebar little bit designed but it is not uh, fully designed yet i am going to uh, make a little bit design top will be zero and bottom also will be zero but the horizontal scroll bar should not be shown here so i need to we need to set the overflow x hidden and uh, the overflow y will be scroll now uh, it is looking good now uh, i am going to uh, input some icons here for looking good uh, 
inside here you can get all of the instructions install these three dependency in our project close the server then install after installing we need to uh, we need to import the font or some in our file then we can use copy this to line then paste in our parent folder now set the icon beside the home beside the home title set the color and the size of the icon color will be white and save it run our server you can see the icon uh, have shown here I am going to set all of our section so our project already have set up and uh, in the next tutorial i will use tailwind css for designing uh, we have made the sidebar and now we can use this sidebar all of our page our components because it is the parent component and all of our file will be the child component